Hi. Uh my name is Rathor and uh, today we are going to learn how to deploy a web server using an AWS EC2 instance. The basic requirement to deploy a AWS server is of course would be an AWS account. To create an account with AWS you need to have a credit or debit card with you. Uh a SSH client uh that could be Putty or any other client that you would uh, prefer and a keygen uh, which normally I use when SAP uh, you can use Putty keygen for uh, the same the first thing that we require to do is to create a virtual machine which is known as EC2 uh, in AWS cloud services the second thing that you want to deploy a web server which is your apache web server the third will be publishing a web page the uh, sample web page would be hello world so let's get started okay we'll sign into the console as i've told you earlier i already have an account so I'm using my account and signing up. Uh, for those of you who do not have an account, have to create an account using their debit or credit card. Uh, now that I've signed up uh, inside the panel, you on the left hand side, you can see at the top, there is a menu called services. I click on it, click on EC2 and it opens up the EC2 dashboard. There's a blue button which says launch instance. I click on that. Now it's asking me to uh, select the machine, the OS of the machine. So I've told you earlier that we'll be using a Red Hat uh, Linux machine. So I'll select that. Uh, it's giving me a default option of uh, t2.micro. We'll be selecting the default uh, in, uh, machine this is actually uh, the hardware that we are going to use it's a virtual hardware that uh, is specified over here it has got one cpu of 2.5 gigahertz intel xeon family with one gb of ram and storage we'll go ahead and click on review and launch on this now we have to create a key uh, by which we'll be uh, using this key to uh, log into our terminal uh, by using as uh, SSH client like uh, putty so uh, we'll name the key as test3 as I've already done uh, I've already created a key1 and key2 I'll download that key once I've downloaded the key uh, I'll place this onto my desktop uh, you can keep it anywhere this is for my convenience so I'll go ahead and launch my instance it takes roughly uh, 5 to 10 minutes to launch that instance as you can see uh, the state over here is pending and uh, the status is initializing it takes roughly 5 to 10 minutes we'll pause the video and get back to you as soon as the state is up and running okay uh, now the instance is running so we'll go ahead and check the details of that instance. Uh, we can see the public IP assigned to that instance is 52. This is the public IP. We'll go ahead and see if it can be reached or not. Right now it should not be working because there's no uh, web server that is deployed. Okay, it's not reachable right now. So the next thing that we're going to do is connect using my putty client before that i would uh, have to generate a private key which for which i'll be using a win scp i click on putty gen load uh, this was the key that we had created now we'll save a private key test hyphen three dot ppk is what we are looking for now that we have saved the key we'll close this we'll load putty 
the IP, the public IP that was given to us, we'll use the same IP to connect. We have to go to the SSH on the left, the authentication by using a key, we'll browse the key. This is the key that we required. Now we'll open up. Uh, as you can see, it's asking me the username to sign up. The default username for that is ec2 hyphen user uh, now that we have signed up into the uh, machine we have to sudo bash to get the administrative rights once we have the administrative rights we'll be installing the http server uh, yum install http asterisk is i'm installing all the components of http you can see the http server being installed yes it is going to take some time a few uh, seconds or minutes Okay, once the machine is installed, uh, we'll go ahead and start the service. Now that we have started the services, we'll go ahead and check whether now the machine is reachable or not. Uh, one more thing we'd like to check is the security settings by default I don't know what's happening the default services are not getting activated I'll select the default setting and click assign security group again we'll go ahead and check whether it's reachable or not uh, what I'll do is I'll just change the security setting again uh, I have assigned a security setting for that okay now uh, the default red uh, Apache test page has opened up that means the web server is up and running now the next thing that we have to do is deploy a uh, web page as we had discussed uh, all we have to do is put in an index.html file so we'll enter the directory var var dot www.html once we are in the directory we'll vi vi is an editor index.html uh, now we have created a file we have not yet created a file in fact we are uh, creating a file index.html put in hello world I've saved the file I'll restart the services just for voila our web page is up and running this is how you deploy a HTML page onto an EC2 instance thank you